Hey, what is going on guys? Sabretooth here. We have a bunch of important information to talk about in today's video. There has been a brand new boss most feared player that has been officially leaked and data mined. So I'm going to share that with you guys today. All the stats, what all that means with that card. In addition, I'm going to show you guys which Antonio Gates you should go for and why if you have not done so already. And already chosen your long shot player so you can't really go back at all and finally I'm gonna tell you guys which team of the week player you need to pick up right now because he's one of the best players in my opinion in the entire game guys if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button real quick and smash that like button because I am doing another giveaway so guys most feared starts in just two days and I do want to give one more person a head start on this promo so all you guys need to do to be entered is subscribe to the channel obviously turn on notifications hit that like button and comment down below if there was one player that you could revive bring back into the nfl who's already been retired and put on your favorite team who would it be and why just let me know down in the comment section there should be some interesting responses to this so obviously you guys can see right here i was not able to make a video on this yesterday i know a lot of people did make videos about the new long shot antonio gates you guys know what long shot is obviously play through the events you get your card this time you could customize which card you wanted to get and pick the different boost to the player unfortunately the boosts only apply to that antonio gates right now i'm just kind of here on this long shot upgrade screen you could go through these events get more training points the boosts only apply to the player himself not to the rest of your team so a lot of people may have chosen things like plus six run block thinking it would help your whole team unfortunately it will only help that gates card himself now if we go over to my team and check out which one i got which i think is the best one easily is a plus six catch in traffic now this one i think probably the least amount of people got but i've been seeing things and i've heard things from the, some of the top players in the mad mobile community why this card is the best and if you guys have not already gotten antonio gates try to get the plus six catching traffic his speed and his catching is already solid the, the catch boost is nice but the jump is already high as well and catching in traffic what that stat does is it prevents antonio gates pretty much from all you see this animation all the time really a player catches the ball you get the good catch animation and then he drops it from a big hit or just it bounces off of his hands when there's a bunch of receivers around him this antonio gates that does not happen with him if he goes up in traffic he catches the ball he gets rocked after he still holds on to it if we go to the, some of the leaders here i'm gonna try to find somebody who's in like the top top of head to head and see who they have on their team which antonio gates version they do have i'm not really sure if any of these guys would have antonio gates even on their lineup probably a lot of color rush yeah so we're seeing a rob gronkowski and so he's not even running a Leonard, I almost said Leonard Fournette because I just saw that card. And Antonio Gates version, maybe this guy has one. Let's see if he, so he does, and he does have a plus six catch and traffic as well. The reason why this is good is because Antonio Gates, you don't really need the jump boost because he already has good jumping. And the catch and run block are kind of nice, but run block really, your tight end is going on routes the majority of the time. And catching is already pretty high and it can be boosted by other cards but catching traffic is a very important stat. This guy just has color rush, so we're just going to kind of abandon this experiment. You guys saw one of the top players does have the plus six catching traffic, Antonio Gates, which is why I think that while he may not be the popular version, I think he probably is the best version. Now, Team of the Week did come out today. We have Team of the Week hero Carson Wentz, and one player that I want to talk about specifically is the 82 overall brand new defensive end for this team of the week from my saints cameron jordan the saints had an amazing defensive week it's actually a weird defensive week we get let off a ton of points but we scored three defensive touchdowns cameron jordan i definitely think he deserves a team of the week and this card is absolutely godly he's got i think 85 speed on him you can get him right now for 150k this is going to be the lowest i think he's going to be at for a while because he, people are pulling him in packs and such i might honestly invest in this guy he's 82 overall so he's easy to level up and let's go over to my team and i'm going to show you guys what he looks like on a squad with that plus eight boost for the next week he's going to be really really overpowered without even leveling him up at all i think he's got 93 speed without even touching him training points wise which is unbelievable for a defensive end let's go check him right here he's 90 overall just in my squad what an absolute beast 93 speed 86 strength 85 agility 87 acceleration 
87 awareness. I mean, everything here is over 80, except his finesse moves, and they're all like mid to high 80s as well. With 93 speed, it's just filthy on this card, and you can get him for only 150,000 coins-ish. You can probably even get him for cheaper than that. I don't think you're going to get a better deal on a defensive end in for probably quite a long time, so I'd definitely consider picking him up. He is an elite class of defensive ends. The only other defensive end with higher speed than him in the whole game is 90 overall draft rising star master miles garrett who is 87 so that's pretty crazy this 90 overall card is 87 speed and that 82 overall cam jordan has 85 so really good for leveling up and an absolutely monstrous player you guys need to pick him up for your teams if you have not already now let's move on to the final part of the video and that is the leaked most feared boss player and surprisingly enough i'm a little bit ticked off by this but it's going to be antonio gates once again so 90 overall antonio antonio gates has been confirmed to be a most feared boss player now this card i found it on mothead and i'm a little bit almost annoyed by this choice considering they just put him in as the long shot player i don't need another antonio gates here he is right here on mothead 90 overall tight end antonio gates that's the real card out right there obviously in mad mobile 17 style but that's the real card art that's pretty much exactly what it's going to look like in the game so anything else you see is just not accurate whatsoever however the stats are really really not that good here's the boost plus three catch to most feared in the description he holds the record for tds by a tight end making one of the most feared red zone targets of all time he does have that other signature card but honestly i think that card is better than this one this card is 81 speed 81 strength 87 acceleration 83 awareness 79 agility 93 catching with 74 run block and 69 pass block as well as 74 impact blocking these stats seem relatively good but then when you notice he's a 90 overall already i mean that's actually pretty bad for a 90 overall tight end he does have 90 catch in traffic oh here's just a funny thing this actually says lawn shot but long shot lawn shot bundle it's just something interesting i saw today but let's just open up a few pro packs as we end off this episode while I still kind of rant about this Antonio Gates. This pretty much means that we should be seeing more limited edition current day players that are able to be pulled in packs like these pro packs like we saw last year. So some of those predictions with current day players will probably come true honestly as some of these boss players and hopefully as our master we'll see a player or two from the past hopefully on offense and defensive side you know Calvin Johnson, Sean Taylor, Lawrence Taylor. Who knows? Our bench is full from opening up Pro Packs, so that's probably a good time to end the video. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. I'm really excited for Most Feared, so make sure leave your comments down below so you guys get your entries in. And hopefully you guys can go pick up Cam Jordan as well and pick up that plus six catch in traffic. Antonio Gates, stay hungry, stay humble, and remember, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.